Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Will You Be Prince Cradle. Today I have a very, very old kit. And I have a story about her, a few stories. She is purchased from eBay back in the day when um, eBay was a little more trusting. Now this body that she has on is one of the very old fashioned bodies like ever. And I have a story about her limbs, like why they look like this. And um, I still love her. I named her Lily Kate. Lily from um, Snow White. <laughs> uh, the, the Snow White, A Tale of Terror, has Sick Gordon Weaver in it. And I forget the actress who played Snow White, but um, her name was Lily in the movie, and I always love that name, Lily. And Kate is named after Kate from Lost. <laughs> but I have a story about her. Uh, this is, I'm not sure if I mentioned, the Cheyenne Kit by Elena Peterson. I think, Peterson? Elena, I think. I hope I'm saying that properly. Um, but she is one of the dolls that I had help re-waiting. Um, I met Wendy of Weeby Dolls in her home in Winnipeg, down south, and we were with some other dolly friends. It was my first dolly meetup. There was myself, Wendy, Jen from Super Little Sweet, and Miranda, who does not have a YouTube channel, but she is on Facebook. And she still um, does be born dolls. <laughs> she paints them and she does a wonderful job micro rooting. Now, Lily here has the original hair that she always had. Um, it's not the best job by me, it's pretty decent. And um, this was back when toothbrushes were <laughs> becoming popular to use to comb their hair because um it's just sorry about my voice um there is construction going outside my window i'm sorry about that they are removing snow <laughs> so I apologize for that sound. Um, I just wanted to come on and show you a few things about the older dolls, the older sculpts. And I love her face. She is so, so sweet. Um, I did buy a body to replace her. She is a three-quarter leg and three-quarter arm. Back when they were a lot more popular than the, the full limbs. Um, she has jointed limbs. That means that they can swivel completely. And she's got fuzz. And by the way, my son is here. <laughs> so if you hear him, he's playing a game online. So, But I do love how she can still squish up. And she's still so sweet. So, as I was mentioning... Uh, she was the very first doll that I had help re -waiting. I didn't know how to re but the lady showed me how. And sadly, she had kitty litter dirt inside of her. So I'm not sure who her artist was because it was on eBay and it's not a well-known artist at all. I never bought from her again. But I think that's why maybe... The limbs are kind of turning like pale or it could just be the paint but um and you could see like in here too but I don't know if it's the paint or if it's the dirt inside of her that was causing the vinyl to like discolor 
so but her face is still beautiful and I love her hair and she's still my little girl <laughs> isn't she beautiful and her, her hair like I said is not bad her hair is actually really nice so um, I will not put her on a new body today I do have a stash of them, by the way. But, oh my hands are dry. <laughs> we, uh, the last couple of weeks, the weather was really nice and things were starting to melt. But then they got really cold again. So everything was super dry where I live. So, um, but anyways, I would love to put Lily into an outfit. And I hope this fits her. It's, I think it's a newborn or size one on its diaper print. You should say somewhere what size. Maybe not. But it's either a newborn or size one. It might be a newborn, actually. So. Let's see what she looks like. And this is back in the day when I used to use real baby powder and I would sprinkle some and then take a brush and brush it. So I remember people saying back in the day that the um, baby powder will discolor this area, but it hasn't. So, I mean, if it is white, you just, it's just, you just pound it out. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, I never found any of the baby powder to discolor the cloth or even the the Wonder Wafers, which, oh, I'm so sorry that that noise is loud. I keep Wonder Wafers in here along with some, um, I bought these from AliExpress. These are jewelry beads. They're crystals, and um, I bought these ones first and realized they were way too small, <laughs> so then I got this size, but I have an idea for these, so, but anyways, I have a whole bunch in here, I would love to give her one. So now for sure I know that Lily has fresh, well, not super fresh, but authentic um, materials on the inside of her. So I feel happy and relieved about that. So um, the outfit I have for her is a spring type. Um, the sun is still shining beautifully. And um, I think this will look good on her. So, and um, I know also through the years, a thing with these onesies is that we would dress the babies from the bottom up, but like this one, it doesn't have that give. So I've always have. Like just went over the head. I just wasn't very careful about it. And by the way, I don't put product in their hair really. I there was a thing when we would use come in <laughs> interrupt your dressing. Oh that car. Did you hear that? That car was not supposed to go through that room. He's walked off for work. Anyways, um this is what we used back in the day. And I used to spray there, like directly on here. This is in the beginning, but I didn't do that very often. And then the thing was, was that you would dilute this with water and then spray it, spray, and then use that. And then people started getting away from all of that altogether and started doing just plain water. 
And then <laughs> a thing was through the years was to get some honest detangler and everyone would swear by this how wonderful it is which by the way it is <laughs> but again I did not do much with her hair um I mean maybe the climate where I live I don't really have to so I noticed though I did use this even diluted on Carly's hair and Carly is my child reborn. And I did notice that her hair gets kind of hard over time. And I guess I could like shampoo it out, but I just haven't come to that point yet. Um, I did do a video of me uh, washing my silicone baby's hair. And by the way, the silicone is like she's her hair is still wonderful and it's a really it's a 2012 baby and her hair is like still original her eyelashes however have been replaced i did not replace her eyelashes her eyelashes were replaced by my friend aaron oh my goodness this color looks great on her but I mean, like her hair, I mean, I know it's messy, but she, I have not done anything and it's still like super soft. Um, I did, uh, she has been in a blanket and by the way, for the people asking, no, it wasn't satin or anything. It was just regular like blank coat like this, fleece, cotton. <clears throat> but um, I didn't do anything extremely special with taking care. I, I just found that if I left, like if I just, I don't know. <laughs> so I did not overdo the products, maybe is what I'm trying to say. Um, and they're fine now with lily here i would love to pierce her ears i don't think she'll ever be a boy i think she'll always be my lily so <laughs> i don't know guys this old belly though this body i don't know it makes her look like plump and i don't know i'm, I'm used to her so maybe i won't change her body. She is so sweet. Oh my goodness. Look at her. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of used to her. But who knows? Maybe if I do put her on a proper body, she will. Oh, I just got <laughs> Look at this mushy hair. Oh my goodness. She is so cute. And look, she could sit. Like very well, she has a little gloss in her hair, and the toothbrush is just you can get better results. Besides, I'm you know, honestly, I'm not one to like, I don't know how to style my girls' dolls because of like this is the best I could do because in real life I had sons I didn't really have to learn how to <laughs> anyways and before I put my foot in my mouth okay I have some options of bonnets to go with her I think she would look really sweet but I'm not sure what would fit her I have this kind which is more of a sun hat or is it a bonnet? Is it a sun hat or a bonnet? I think it's like a um, bonnet. At first I thought it was like a sun hat. I don't know, it could be a sun hat. Or could it be a bonnet? But it might be too big on her anyway. 
Yeah, it looks like a sun hat. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, she's so cute. Not quite summer yet, though. I have this kind that could match. This is an off white. I wonder if it's too fancy, though. It might be even too big. Yeah, way too big. Way too big. I also have the same style, but in a pink, but it's way too big. And this one, does, I think, is way too big. This one could be adjusted. So let's see what this one. one might be way too big. Way too big. I don't know, she's so cute. She reminds me of Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> see. I think this, this one suits her. Yeah, I should go. That's scraping. They're trying to remove the snow. Like, all winter, it's been, um, um, like, building up, building up. And it started falling into the street, but freezing, too. So, it made our, like, normally you could park there. But now, without the room, no one could park anywhere. Oh, look at her. I wonder... I wonder... I think I have... Like, those... Sock kind of things. I have this bag of... It was in popping now. And not these ones. These. I don't know. Are they too fancy? Too big? Oh my goodness. They're cute though. So they look like this. Yeah, I'm so sorry if that noise is... I won't be long. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? With the socks or without the socks? Maybe some booties? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, she is so sweet. Wow, they're finally playing some. <laughs> Must have warmed up for them to do it. And here's Medina in her car seat. I took pictures of her on Instagram. Here's her thing I made her a while ago. So anyways, guys, hope that you have a great day. Thank you so much for being here. I love all your comments. Thank you so much for stopping by. And I tried cutting my hair just a little bit. I tried that, um, what they call the butterfly haircut. Just the, just the top though, because the back is how long I want it. But, um, it's very subtle. That's all I wanted was something subtle. So news guys, thank you so much for being here. I love you and I appreciate you all for being here for me. And I hope that your day is going so well. Mine is so peaceful and I love that the sun is shining. I am retransplanting some plants today. 
I've worked on one already and I have one more to do. So it's been fun. I've been like pruning them back a bit. Just some of the house plants that I have. The real ones <laughs> that is. I have a couple of fake ones too. <laughs> My voice sounds like it's going. Anyways guys, have a great day. Love you so much. And until next time, very very soon. Much time guys. Much time guys. Love you guys. Bye. This is before, I hope I won't regret this, I am going to try the butterfly cut.